What's going on you guys? Hello and welcome. So this video gonna be a teardown. So what you need is a Torx T15 screwdriver, a mini Phillips head, or if you don't have a Torx T15, you can use a flat head screwdriver and a Phillips head. Also, what I will do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bit right here, change it to T15, It'll be a lot faster. So there'll be screw in the back. That's the wrong one. Hold on. So there will one screw in the back you have to remove. You're gonna slide to the left. You're gonna remove the front cover basil. And it's got clips in here. There one screw you have to remove here. This is for the hard rod cage. This holds a hard rod cage here, the one screw. And there's one you have to remove right here, also in the corner or middle. This also holds the hard rod cage. So this will slide up like this. You can lift it up, it comes out. You can disconnect the SATA power cable from the hard drive. Lift this up like this, comes out. And you want to disconnect the hard drive. Two screws on each side. This hard drive, three and a half inches, used for extra storage. But the main boot drive will be a SSD NV NVMe.2, and it comes out like this. Now what I will do is I'm gonna remove the VD card. Also, to remove the video card, you will need pressing this clip right here. You see that clip right here? You're gonna press it down. Then you're gonna pull the video card out. You see that right here? You press it down. A little clip. You press on it. Then you put the pull the video card out. Now I'm gonna go through the front and back side. And there'll be two, three screws here. And the case is kind of like very, the, the steel on is very thin actually, so you can bend it really quick. And you see guys, the eye shield, it's basically built in into the case. You see that, how they made it? And the fan is 92 millimeter. And you'll have to use a Phillips head screwdriver for this. It doesn't work really well. So let me get this, my I'm gonna change the bit because this is too slow. I'm gonna make a bigger one. It's a lot faster. And so I'm gonna go back in the front again. The power supply, we're gonna disconnect this kettle. Let's see how they made it. There's a four pin here for the CPU power. And use another four pin here. Huh, you see that? And it looks like a, it's a PWR CMD, looks like. Look at it. You see that? On the cable, a PWR CMD for the power supply. And what you have to do is you press on it here like this, and it slide to the right, the clip. So 
Just show you guys again. Four pin, four pin, and another looks like a it's a three wire. See that how they made it? The power supply. Two four pins and another one. That's like a three wire. So now what I'll do is remove the SATA cables. This is for the power, SATA power. And remove the RAM. Now I'm gonna go and remove the NV and SSD NV M.2. Now what I will do is I will again Take a screwdriver, and it looks like it is using Torx. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna move the fan, the CPU cooler. Using the left hand so you guys can see the view better, the video. guys were asking about this HP desktop PC it's actually brand new and it's a i5 12th gen CPU in here And you can disconnect the, the CPU fan connector header. So it's actually four wire, four wire, four pin. It was kind of really thin actually, look how thin it is. <laughs> it's all aluminum. So I need to take a uh, rubbing alcohol, 91%, and you need a paper towel. And I'm gonna wipe down the CPU. First, I'm gonna use just a regular paper towel. Then I'm gonna, as soon as I uh, wipe this out, thermal compound, I'm gonna use a uh, rubbing alcohol. Complete. Now, again, take a paper towel, clean one. Now I'm gonna get away from this desk. I don't wanna apply it. So I guess I'm just gonna do this. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna wait till try to Okay, now I'm gonna go and pull it out. It's got a pin here to move the CPU like this. Lift it like that and go like that. Gently pull it only one way. There's a CPU. This is an Intel Core i5 12th gen. So what I'll do guys would be the last part is I'm gonna remove the motherboard and then I'm gonna move the wireless here. But you guys can leave the CPU inside, then you remove the motherboard first, then you remove the CPU if you wanna do that. So, but it doesn't matter. This is for the wireless card right here. I 
And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pull the motherboard out. It'll be the last part. So I'm going to start from the bottom. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like seven screws here to remove. So there'll be one screw in the right side corner, one in the middle, and one le uh, left side here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna <clears throat> go and pull the motherboard out. And to do that, you're gonna lift it up here. Like this to your head, and she able to come the motherboard come right out. So guys, here's the motherboard. So don't forget, guys, here's a clear CMOS, clear password will be here. Jumper. It's like a micro ATX motherboard, but a little bit wider. It looks like it's built in USB SD card reader and a power switch. Look at that, how they made it. Here's the front, here's the back. This is socket the LGA 1700. So that's all. So guys, be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.